social update UG. Oil agreement set to be made public. Government says a government must never be angry. Angry. The nega bantin no. Diru yama futa. Oba inda gano yama futa. Egena kuwe danga ya lukali. Ngabuli omo asolo kujira bana jisoma muko. A government must never pondo oka. Nakirizo kuwe danga oil agreement. Ngana jifula public. The East African crude oil pipeline, which the European Parliament is opposing, is a 1,443 kilometer pipeline that once that once completed will run through 10 districts in Uganda, stretching from Hoima in Uganda to the Indian Ocean at the Tanga port, west of Tanzania. Uh, what you need to know is Uganda is expected to be transparent on revenues and other transactions on its oil gas and other mineral resources extracted and traded both locally and globally. Parties involved in extraction and production of Uganda's oil are in the latter stages of making production sharing agreements public. Government authorities close to this matter have revealed. Mr. Saul Onyagira, our Ongaria, the extractive Industries Transparency Initiative National Coordinator told Sunday Monitor that the fringes of a two-day workshop convened in Entebbe this past week that this is the strongest indication yet of the sector's transparency. Mr. Onga Ongaria added that added that by its own violation, the government decided to join EITI. EITI for the good of the country. This, he believes, will put all stakeholders on the same page once the country's black gold is drilled and revenues start to trickle into the consolidated fund. Uh, if we are going to go into production, we have to make sure and we have to make it a point to be a trans as transparent as possible. Otherwise, whatever money we earn will disappear in one way or the other or even end up in the wrong hands. Mr. Ongaria reasoned, adding, the best way to approach, especially before oil production begins, is to ensure that we put in place requirements for transparency. And what it means is that whatever we earn, we shall be using it in the right way. Mr. Faustin Mugisha, the commercial and joint venture manager at Total Uganda, offered support to the government's position. If you are transparent and all this information is in the public, it is easier to manage and secure investment because it is clear to everybody, Mr. Mugisha said. The development comes hot on the heels of the European Parliament resolution on alleged violations of human rights in Uganda and Tanzania linked to investments in fossil fuel projects. The East African crude oil pipeline, which the European Parliament is opposing, is a 1,443 pipeline that once completed will run through 10 districts in Uganda stretching from Oima in Uganda to the Indian Ocean at the Tanga port west of Tanzania. Uh, the, the Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, EITI, is a global standard with a current membership of 54 countries when it was formally admitted to the setup on August 12, 2020. The governments of members all member candidates are chief are chiefly expected to be open and have accountable management of the extractives in that country. In this regard, Uganda is expected to be transparent on revenues and other transactions on its oil, gas, and other mineral resources extracted and traded both local and globally. The, impl the implementation of the EITI demands in Uganda are overseen by a multi-stakeholder group Composed of 25 members, these include seven from the extractives company, five from the civil society organization, and 13 from the government. The MSG is chaired by the Director of Economic Affairs at the Ministry of Finance, Planning, and Economic Development. A topic in Kuluchiri in Tino, government Ikiza Nebelange Kolachi, Ikiza Nebelanga, Egena Kubelange Sharing, Ekotaku Kumafutago Nagona. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Peace.